Hi class, this video is to help you with your charts. Um, this is going to align with topic two, DQ2, but this will also go for our major assignment charts as well. Okay, so at the end of topic two, DQ2, you are asked to insert a pie chart. We're gonna make a pie chart of our totals over here. Okay, so when you go to enter a chart, a pie chart, a bar chart, um, or a scatter plot, you're gonna highlight your data. And I recommend highlighting the category names along with your data. This will help align up the labels on your graph a little bit better, and then you won't have to go back and do the labels after you make your chart. So highlight your data, get the category names with your data, uh, mainly make sure you hi highlight transportation, bills, food, housing, clothing, other. You're gonna go under insert at the top here. In the middle, you have all of your chart options. Majority of the charts we're using can be found in recommended charts, and I'll open that up in a second. You have your bar chart up here that will be used for major assignment one. Our pie chart will be the circle down here that will be used for this DQ and major assignment one. And then here's your scatter plot that will also be used in major assignment one. You can also use the recommended chart buttons. So when you click on that, it'll open up a list of charts on the left. Um, it has the bar chart selected on the right. This could be in a different order from yours. Um, the order doesn't really matter here. What you should do is you should open this up, look for the chart you want. We're looking for a pie chart, so we're looking for the circle one. I'll click that, hit OK, and it'll insert in my chart. And then see on the legend down here, I have transportation, bills, food, housing, clothing, other. All of that is already color coded with my chart. That is done already for me because I highlighted those category titles with my data. If you only highlighted the numbers, these would just be item one, item two, item three, item four, item five. It wouldn't have the actual names with them. So highlight the numerical values and the category titles. Okay, when you have your chart like this, you can move it around. You can put it wherever you want. When it's selected, you'll see this chart design tab pop up. That is where you can change the style. And then you also have this format. You can change the style here as well. For the chart design, you can pick any pie chart. We wanna make sure the percentages are on the pie slices. So you go in here and you could pick this one. There's a couple others you could probably pick from. So here's one with percentages on it. There's a darker one. So you can pick the one you want and boom, you've got a chart. Um, you can also, so just remember you can highlight these. You can go into insert and then you could have clicked on this chart button here as well. So if you click on that, it'll ask me what kind I want. You can choose between 2D or 3D. I'll do 3D for this one since I did 2D for the other one. So I click on that. I can move it around. Careful not to move the pie out of the chart. I can move it around wherever I want. And then I can go under that design tab, which only appears when my chart is selected. And then I can choose between the different styles. The same idea works for the bar chart and for that scatter plot that you'll be doing on major assignment one. I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all.